Now, according to a World Economic Forum survey, the United States is ranked 49th in the world for the quality of its math and science education. A company called E Squared Young Engineers wants to improve that performance. Now, joining me now is the founder and the chief executive of the company, Amir Asur. Amir, thanks for being here. Thank you for inviting me. Let's start by talking about just the name of the company. Why did you decide on E Squared? Well, E Square is stands for the edutainment world. This is the two words combined together: education and entertainment. So, if you multiply the E of the edutainment and the education and the E of the entertainment, you get an E Square. All right. So you combine two different methodologies for learning, right? Exactly. And you decided to build a business around this. Tell us what you've done so far. Well, Young Engineer Business is all about using unique method, edutainment method that you just presented to teach children the basic of science, technology, engineering and mathematics in a fun way. So every lesson begins with, the, with an explanation and then the children build a model that illustrates it. Now this must mean you've got uh, educators, teachers uh, that are trained in all this. How do you do it? Exactly. We recruit franchisees and they recruit their own instructors and they go to educational centers such as private schools, charter schools, uh, recreational centers, etc., in order to teach the children the extracurricular activities. What's the extent of the franchise network right now? Well, we operated in 13 countries already, only in the past uh, two years. When I was starting the business myself, I was teaching in eight educational centers only, and very quickly we grew up to 91 educational, educational centers, and we're looking forward to grow, to have the same growing numbers here in the United States. So what's the plan for the U.S.? I believe you've got one location currently, and that's in Michigan. Yes, we have in Michigan one franchisee who has uh, 15 locations, and we open now to, uh, to distribute the Young Engineer programs almost all around the U.S.A., and we're here now for the franchise exposition, to find suitable partners, suitable franchisees to help up uh, send the message to the public. That's right. Franchise Expo, uh, I believe it concludes uh, tomorrow in, uh, in New York City. As far as uh, vetting the different franchise uh, potentials, um, you have to look at cost, whether they can sustain the investment. How much does this run and uh, what kind of people are you looking for? Well, the franchise cost uh, has two main components. One is the franchise fee, which is uh, $20,000. And the other one is the equipment, which costs uh, $8,500. But only for this franchise exhibition, we have a sale. The first 10 franchisees will get this package in $10,000 only. And if they don't want it, they can have the 50% back after six months. Now you've but brought, they would want it. Okay, well, I mean, and, and maybe they're going to be very good at using Lego because I know that you brought some Lego here to sort of demonstrate uh, how you uh, combine this uh, education and uh, entertainment at the yes, same time. Exactly. I even brought one, uh, one example here. So imagine that uh, you offer a child to learn about a gearbox. He will probably refuse. But if we invite him to a class in order to build a Lego car, he probably will say yes. And when he participates, he can build a manual car where you can see the gearbox in action. So we can have a lot of fun while learning a lot about engineering in the so same time. So it ends time. up being a show rather than tell, or show and tell at the same time. Exactly. There are learning about the concept and then build a model that, that implements it. What about the age groups that are involved? Well, uh, we're using Kinex for ages 4 to 6 and from the age of 6 and, um, and the age of 15 we use the kit that you see here, the Young Engineers kit, where we, you can be, uh, which you can use in order to build 140 different kinds of models. Each one of the models implement different engineering principle. Now, when you were a child, were you playing with Lego? Were you playing with these kinds of things to learn these, uh, these types of uh, principles? Yes, uh, I was playing a lot with Lego, but it didn't come from this direction. Actually, it came because I had many learning disorders in school. And uh, when I was studying in the university, computer science and economy, I noticed the tremendous gap between what I, had, what I was in the school to what I am in the university. And from then I started to develop the idea on how to bring, uh, in a fun way, the education so like I successfully did it, the uh, children of young engineers will be able to enjoy and learn complex engineering principles by playing and having fun. Well, you use that word enjoy and that seems to somehow get forgotten a lot because uh, in this case, you're saying 
Great. It doesn't matter whether you've been classified as good or not so good in engineering and mathematics. You can actually learn something by going through this program. Exactly. The name of the game is passion. If the children is passionate about it and he sees that he succeeds to understand and to implement the scientific principle, then he will love it and he will go by the, by the end of the day. By Eventually he will grow up and go to study engineering in the university. All right, last point to you though, is this got to be somehow connected to an app or some kind of online yes. experience, right? I mean, you can't have a business these days without it. <laughs> what, what's your connection and what have you been doing? Yes, well, we developed a new app that enables children to see uh, the full building instructions in 360 degrees, this is for example a washing machine, so once children finish building this, they take a, a, a Q-ton, uh, soak it with water, put it inside the drum of the washing machine, and when it turns, they can see the centrifugal force starting getting into action, and the ringing action of the washing machine, how it, how the, how it, how it works. So they implement things from the real life, such washing machine and gearbox. Well, maybe Brain they'll even do their own clothes too, they'll all do their own laundry, you <laughs> never know. Want to uh, thank you very I wouldn't count on this. <laughs> well, they can try anyway. Maybe not so much starch. Thanks very much. Thanks for I'm having me.